Hello, hello, hello to everyone. Good morning. It is Thursday once again, and I'm so happy to be with you on our Thursday date. Today is going to be a very, very special day because I will be joined in by FQ Sun number one. And also we have a very, very special guest. Her name is Kiara Cuenca Dario. Oh, may middle name talaga. You will find out later why I know the middle name so well. So this is Rose Fres Fausto, FQ Mom. FQ stands for Financial Intelligence Quotient. It is the ability to make sound decisions and actions in managing your personal finances. In other words, it's the IQ and EQ of handling money. And I'd like to bring up already my co-host for today, Martin Fausto. Fausto. Hey! Hello, everyone. Magandang, magandang umaga. Thank you for joining us in your first date for uh, Money Lessons with FQ Mom and Sons. My name is Martin Fausto. I am son number one. Mm, tell us about yourself. Some of our oh, okay, intro. <laughs> the first time. Nice, nice, nice awkward pause. So my name is Martin. Uh, professionally, I run a brand consultancy firm that talks about clarity of story. Story with yourself in your career, what you want to do, what you're good at, your strengths, your values, and of course, helping your managers, you know, the ones that are high potential, the potential future leaders of your team or of your company, in developing them to become leaders that you can build and keep so that you can not just only handle the business, but actually manage the business. So that's what we do for uh, Brandem. And uh, today, you know, we'll be really talking about... Yes. So, diba, we're talking about investing in people. We're also talking about investing in... I guess the topic for today, you no, know, is luxury purchases or luxury mm -hmm. consumption. And uh, yep. before we talk about anything luxury, syempre, yep. kailangan natin pag-usapan yung third basic law of money that touches Pero, on but, luxury. But, but before mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. kailangan yes. tayo greet. Let's greet our early birds. You rise, fall, up. Hi, FQ mom. At si Nancy Jane, sabi niya, hindi ka daw siya late. Yay! So, sino pa mga nandiyan? So, si Keb. Hi, Keb. Belated happy birthday. Hi, Keb. Happy birthday. Oh, he had a birthday. Hello, hello. I have a question. Nagin echo ba ako? I have a question. No. So sa pandinig ko, we are good to go. So sa pandinig ko, we are bounce. You know, for the viewers' sake, kaya nalolo ka na viewers. I am using for the first time the big screen. Ah yes. My honey gave me. People are saying there's feedback now. Oh, yan nga eh. Sige, siguro, Marty, why don't you continue greeting the viewers and the discussions? I think I'm gonna go to my own set up. Yes, yes. Baka the big, baka the new screen. Baka the new screen's the one that's causing a bit of a bit of echo and feedback. Ayan. Okay, let's try it this way. Ako naman, I'll turn off my speaker para it's just going to be with uh, my laptop. Baka ganun yung, baka ganun yung echo natin, ma. <laughs> okay. So, hello everyone. Good morning. Uh, it's the FQ Sun Show <laughs> for the first few minutes. Would like to greet Sina Gwyneth Keb. Uh, oh, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Kamusta ang ating babysitting Judy's with your super cute nephew? Um, kapit lang talaga for everyone. Thank you sa mga pahalo-halo. And today, no, we'll be talking about a lot on luxury purchases and luxury consumption. 
Hello, thank you. Thank you, Rodel. Sige. So from our viewers, no, both on Kumu and Facebook, could you please share in the comment section if you have any recent luxury purchase and what that is? Diba, nagkaroon tayo ng mga sales recently, online shopping, and of course, Kumu also has their own online shop. Ano kaya yung ating mga online or uh, luxury purchases na meron tayo? Please share it. I'm so curious kung ano ba yung mga luxury purchases ngayon. Kasi di ba pandemic? So, inisip ko initially, baka people won't be buying a lot of uh, luxury items. Bags, watches, cars. Pero parang lalong when I see online or even yung mga personal shoppers, parang booming ang kanilang business. Thank you, thank you for the scramble, Clarice. Clydish. Oh, I like your name, Clydish. Okay, could you please comment in the section, no? Ano kaya yung mga luxury purchase items in the past, the recent past? Say pandemic, so isip ko, hmm, baka wala. It looks like dumadami ang ang kanilang purchases. Furniture, Kiara, Kiara. I hear so many people buying furniture now. Is that luxury? Hmm. I would define luxury as something that you don't really need. But if furniture, let's say you have an empty space, you bought a couch, chairs, I think that would still be need. But if the furniture is like by a designer, Vito Selma, Kenneth Coverpoint, I think that would be luxury. And thank you for sharing. What else? What else? Um, in yung recent luxury purchases. Sana all may pambili ng recent purchases. Baka kaya siguro wala pong siya nagko-comment. Kasi <laughs> mga hindi nga talaga nakapagbili ng luxury in the, in the recent uh, past. Okay. So yeah, while we're waiting for FQ Mom to come back, we're going to be talking about the third basic law of money. And the third basic law of money is, if anybody... Share it sa kanyang comment section. Meron ba? Ano ating third basic law of money? Thank you so much, Direct Sharon, for helping with that. So the third basic law of money is make your gold work for you. Make an army of golden slaves before you buy luxury. Yan. So it's basically talking about making your money work for you. That's why we invest, di ba? Na... During the time that we are on vacation leave, pwede pa rin tayo kumita. And that is how we make our gold work for you through passive income. And investments can, can have so many types. Can be business, stock market, real estate. And for some would even think that watches, jewelry, and designer bags are investment items. And I'm so curious, no, to find out your opinion. Do you agree with that belief that Designer bags, jewelry, watches, luxury watches. Are they investment items or not? What is your take on that? So I've been a user 04262-0214. Good food. Food is a need, but sometimes I love myself to spend for good food. Yes, thank you. Can you see me now? You are now a mix. Why did I become a mix? Sharon, ano nangyari sa akin? Baka okay, they put thank you. Something. Cheryl Manansala. Oh, even your name is so luxurious, no? Manansala. Why don't you agree that in designer bags, watches, or jewelry are uh, not investment pieces? Hello, Clarice. Gandang tanghali. Hi, Ian Kadit. Yeah, thank you so much, Doggy Dog Stats, for the scrambles. But going back to Miss Manansala, Cheryl, Manan Cheryl, why don't you why don't you agree with that statement? Because I call it honestly, I also don't think they're investment pieces. I feel like they're more feel good items. Hello, Chris May Tishi. So for those who just joined in, we're asking the question: Do you agree with the statement that? Designer bags, jewelry, and luxury watches are investment pieces because I really hear it a lot. 
So sabi ni Cheryl, no, my client purchase expensive purses and I compared it to her down payment to the house purchase. <laughs> tama, tama. Actually, FQ Mom has a term for um, these designer bags. She calls it the GK bag. Uh, the Gawad Kilinga bag. If you read her latest article on fqmom.com. A GK bag, uh, and why a designer bag is as expensive as you putting up a gawad killing the house. <laughs> Mama, so she bought, Tamichano, she bought the house and investment grew. Mama, nice, nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God! No, you're not going to be done. Woo! You're not going to be my gosh. Okay. And okay. Sabina ni Cheryl, she's sure that the purses are still in the closet and she is already on her second house. Because I asked my ask the I asked our viewers no. Um, do they believe in the statement that designer bags, jewelry, and luxury watches are investment pieces? Okay. So I'll give you Oh, believe uh-huh. na ako ng Birkin kasi investment naman siya tataas yung value. Okay. And see, Cheryl was very kind and generous to share. The experience of her client, na bumili lang mga purses, per, mga purses, mahaling purses, and meron din siyang biniling bahay. And um, yung, siyempre, yung sa bahay, the value went up. She's now living in her second house, but the oh, purses good. are still back in the first house. So parang nagkaroon ng, ng disconnect. What, what's uh, your take on that? Ako, um, well, personally kasi I said nga, hindi ako mahilig sa signature bags. I don't have a single GK bag. Uh, I think you already explained to them. Natawa nga si Anna Meloto Wilk dito sa GK bag na to eh. But, but I don't want to uh, be judgmental. Kanya-kanyang trip yan eh. As we say nga, walang basagan ng trip, no? Yes. And when it comes to spending on luxury, maganda kasi masunod lang yung mga laws, no? Like uh, we were saying uh, the third basic law of money and later siguro you will show the FQ Mom Guide. Now, is it an investment? If you are in the business of trading signature bags, so definitely that's an investment, di ba? So if you have like a keen eye, ah, ito, hindi pa masyadong sikat tong, um, uh, tong brand na to. But later on, it's going to be very valuable. So pwede ka mag-invest. So parang painting din yan eh. So, but but if you're just gonna buy it kasi ay kailangan may ganyan ako kasi pati yung mga secretary sa amin nakaganyan na kailangan ako na rin mag ano no level up yun ang hindi siya investment yeah. and then others could also justify that it adds to the look yes. so kumbaga kanya-kanya lang yan as long <laughs> as we are we are not sacrificing the funds for our needs just to be able to buy these luxuries. Yun naman yun. Correct. And I mean, kung mga utang ka talaga, oh, just to buy the item, that's already, we would say that that's objectively a wrong thing, something wrong to do Mm-mm. with luxury. Wag tayo mga utang to buy <laughs> luxury or a want. Um, let's focus on the needs mo. Let's cover our needs first. And any extra, no? You can buy luxury. What is the FQ tip ba when it comes to buying luxury items? You know, uh, kasi kaya, ginag- kaya ko siya naisip yung tip na yun. It has to be something easy to remember. Hindi na mahirap computein. Uh, at the same time, it gives you a big leeway na, so that you can grow your money. So let's show that. What is the FQ mom guideline when it comes to when can you start buying luxury na matalaga? Take it away, direct Sharon. And that's our Man. FQ hack. Buy luxury only if you can afford to buy 10 pieces of it. Bakit 10? Para you just add one zero on the right. So halbawa, you're looking at this 100,000 bag. Na sabi mo, oh, deserve ko naman, pinag-ipunan ko naman. No, I have 100,000 in my bank account. Is it already the right time to buy that bag? Mathematically speaking, oh. yeah, Kasi mathematically speaking, it's oh. But, it's like it's so cool. So, what happens John Martin, when you bought it, because you put it in your hand, but that's just your money, so you're back to zero. It's sad, right? Yeah. You should have enough 
uh, safety net, sabi nga nila, safety net. So, so that you will be, because when you abide, when you observe the third basic law of money, which is to buy luxury only, if you, <laughs> akin pala yon dagdag ko yun, pero yung sabi din sa Babylon book, have an army of golden slaves before you buy luxury, so that when it comes to your needs, meron ka pa rin dudukutin. The safety net is really very, very important. Yun. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. So, buy, only, buy luxury only if you can afford 10 of it. Okay. Put a zero at the end of the price tag at kung meron kang ganun pang bayan. Oo. So, and then, enjoy natin ang luxury na yan. Oh, I so, have a okay. short story, you know. Okay. On my first, I guess, encounter when buying luxury. So, I still use it. Um, I don't, I won't say it's luxury because it's, it's not naman that expensive. But at that time, 11 uh -huh. years ago, I was still in college. Uh, I was in France for an exchange program. And I bought this bag. It's a, <laughs> it's a laptop bag. Na long champ yung long brand. Mm. Uso dati. And ito yung itsura niya when you unfold it. Okay. So you can put your laptop inside. You can put your folder, your notebooks in yan. And it, at that time, I think it was mga five to six thousand. And so um, it was worth. Tapos, mm -hmm. no, tinignan ko naman yung bakang ko. Meron naman akong more, more than, than after, more. after so many weeks of saving. Sabi ko, oh, sige, sige, bilhin lang ako nito. Lagi uh -huh. uso. Parang, kasi lahat ng mga classmates ko, even the French students there, uh -huh. were uh -huh. this men and women. So I was like, wait, uso yan. Sige nga tayo na. <laughs> Honestly, the first few weeks, I was happy with it. Tapos, matagal hindi ko na nagamit. But lately, kapag kailangan ko ng mga, let's say, mabilisang ano, I still keep it and still clean it. So mm. I'm still happy that it's still with me 11 years later. I think wow. that's something, something with luxury, no? Parang, if you're gonna buy something that's, syempre, pwede naman bumili ng, ng Jansport, ng North Face, but not bumili ng Longchamp? Or any other laptop bag na mas mura. <laughs> uh, sige, parang may souvenir ako from that exchange program in France. Tapos isip ko, ah, durable naman tong material. So, mm -hmm. why not? Aalagaan mo rin. So, 11 years later, it's still with me. <laughs> yeah! Mag-go one dozen years na kayo together next year, no? Yes, yes. So, I like uh, what Cheryl also mentioned in the comment section. Na mm -hmm. sinabi niya, it's like, um, one can only wear a fake Rolex if the real thing is in the vault. Huh? May, ano, what do you mean by that? <laughs> so, okay, kung meron, kung, nga. kung meron kang totoo, itatago mo siya, pero kung pangharabas mo lang siya, kahit yung fake na lang sa atin mo, <laughs> dadali mo lang. How you carry it mo lang. Talaga ka. Hello, Marie Chris. He, she's watching, he or she, siguro she ito, watching from Hong Kong. Kumusta na kayo sa Hong Kong? Are you back to semi-normal? Naka-face mask na lang? Marami na bang tao dyan sa mga um, oh, commercial outlets? I would see Kasi, friends who are based in Hong Kong and they would go to Disney Park. Already? Oh, Sarap naman. Yeah, so natawa ako dun sa fake. So I, I think that's another episode, ano? Yung pag, or, or maybe we can touch on that already. Yung paggamit ng fake. Um, Are you for it or against it? <laughs> uh, I'm not for it. Kasi parang feeling ko, even if others won't know, you know. Diba? True. You know eh. So, True. kung hindi mo afford, eh, bumili ka na lang ng mas mura na, na quality rin. Pero kasi, sa totoo lang, wag pa katotoo, kung minsan nakakatuwa, diba? Nakakatuwa na... Ay, ay, naka <laughs> Grabe, naalala ko sa Green Hills. Meron pang mga ano yan, di ba? May categories pa yan. May levels. Oo, oh, may levels. Hindi yeah. lang A. May double A, may triple A. <laughs> Parang credit rating yan, ha? double A, triple A, sana doon na lang. Ano? Pero yun nga eh. So, um, para kasing ano rin yan eh. It's Stealing, diba? Uh, I know you. I think I heard you mention something about Kenneth Cobon earlier. Did you? No, nagkakagulo ako sa connection ko. Did you well, mention? Wala. 
Ah, I thought you, you mentioned oh, kasi... Somebody mentioned kasi I asked kung ano yung mga latest luxury purchases na nabili natin. Ah, somebody, okay. Is it furniture? Is that luxury or is that more of a need? Kasi parang, di ba, you need a chair, you need a table. Sabi yeah. Ko, my designer is like, Con Cobalque or oh. sell me or the other, other designers or brands, like luxury brands. It would fall under the luxury uh, category. Yeah. So talking about Kenneth Cobon Pue, um, I'm a fan of his work talaga. And um, I've been really wanting to buy his yin and yang na sofa. So when he's based in Cebu, but he's internationally known, mga mag, pati sina mga, sina Brangelina, di ba? May mga Kenneth Cobon Pue pieces sila. So when there was this fame, ba yung tawag doon, yung exhibit in Manila, I went yes. there precisely to buy. I, I already got in touch with them through email, etc., etc. And then when I went there, you were with me, Martin. He was there. So sabi ko dun sa parang salesperson niya, sabi ko, you have to introduce me to Ken. <laughs> so we were introduced. He was such a nice guy. Very, syempre Kenneth, kobon pa na siya, no? Parang he was very humble pa rin, and he was talking to you, na ganyan. Nakakaalim, meron akong naalala isang instance na. So I was talking to him, ano? Tapos, I was already given a discount. Tapos sabi ko, when we were talking, I said something like, pero hindi ko siya binobola, promise, ano? I thought he was a lot younger than his real age. Tapos, sinabi niya, oh, sabi niya, oh, oh, I'm a lot older than that age. Tapos, niloko ko siya, sabi ko, actually, I was just fishing for additional <laughs> discount. <laughs> so I said that. Tapos, nung sinabi niya, oh, what's, what's the discount given to you? Tapos, may siya siya. Tapos, sabi niya dun sa, ano, oh, yeah, I can give you black discount. Can't remember na. Tapos, yung tao niya, parang na ganun, no? Parang siguro loob-loob niya, oh my God, binabaan pa. So, so yung ganyan. And, siguro na aliw-aliw din siya dun sa conversation namin. And then, somebody came, na bigla lang siyang sumabat, na lang nagsalita siya, tapos sabi sa akin, excuse me, sabi niya. Nung siya, tapos bumalik siya, sabi niya, oh, sorry, that was a little bit rude, but parang may ano yata eh, ewan ko ba, princess ba siya or something. Basta may mga ganong effect. So, wala. That's just like my Kenneth Coburn Pue moment. <laughs> And then I, I met him again when he opened his shop in Makati, sa Green. Yeah, Green Yeah. Were you also with me that time? Hindi na. No? Yes. Papa, no? yes. Ah, you were also? Oh, yes. di chika na tayo. And of course, I follow him on Instagram. Kaya ako misa, may mga pa-conversation. Conversation. And so talking about Kenneth Coburn, this is what he does. Talagang chinatsaga daw niya na i-sue the people who copy his art. So sabi niya, you know, I just have to be very... um tenacious about it. Yung, he just has to do it. Diba? Parang, ang dami rin kasing kumukopya eh. Yes. Para naman daw, ma-preserve naman yung, yung original work nila. So, so that's what he does. Yan ang ating mga ke- <laughs> Hindi ko plinano yung kwento si Kenneth Coban, pwena kwento ko tuloy. Salamat sa mga halo-halo, Yanni, uh, Miss Itchobro. Oh, thank you for sharing this live and I encourage all our Kumu viewers to also share it live. So that we will be able to do our tradition whenever we hit the 1,000 live viewers. You know that already if you've been watching us for the last month or so. Two, magdo two yeah. months sa palatayo. Yep, yes. yep. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, we have a topic, no? Di ba sa luxury? What mm-hmm. is this term na naririnig natin called shopitism? Oh, oh shoptimism. Pakita natin yon. Pakita natin yung shoptimism. I mentioned this in my article yesterday. It is the phenomenon of still shopping for luxury despite hard times. This term was um, uh, invented by uh, a writer back in the day. If you recall the Great uh, Recession, we call that the Great Recession, parang tinugma dun sa the Great Depression, which was the subprime. Oh, oh, in 2007, 2009. So, parang sometimes nagre-react din yung mga tao eh. Nabili pa rin, bili pa rin. Kung siguro pang pa-happy. And uh, they can actually justify na, oh, it's showing optimism in the economy. Yung mga ganon type. And we see that happening now also. Shoptimism. 
this was a couple of months after the lockdown last year. There was a spike in the uh, volume of luxury goods being shopped in Hong Kong. Yeah, in China yata, no? in general. Grabe. So, ako parang hindi ako masyadong tinatamaan ng shoptimism kasi siguro dahil hindi ko lang din talaga trip. And again, no judgment for those who really love shopping. Meron din naman, nakaka-happy rin naman kasi eh. Ako, you know what I really like? Yung parang, kung maganda yung shop, no? Yung place, and then when you put on dresses, and then they have nice music, parang nakaka-happy yun para sa akin. <laughs> so, iba na yung word na yun, shoptimism. It's optimism and shopping. Yes. Kahit na... Marami Hard time. Maho, sarado yung mga mall, shops. Parang go pa rin ang go sa online shopping. Pampa feel good. Baka nga it's a psychological reaction, no? Yep, na yep. With everything that's happening, parang mm-hmm. kailangan ko ng break, kailangan ko ng pampa good vibes. <laughs> Nakaka-good vibes ba yan? Kanina meron ako nakita na comment eh, yung walang basagan ng trip na sinabi ko. I think si Keb yun eh, sabi niya, nasisira lang siguro yung trip sa luxury items kapag nasisira yung funds mo for the future. Tama nga naman. Na, diba? Baka mamaya you're sacrificing already eh, what you should be setting aside for the really big needs in your life. For example, kung meron ka mga anak, yung mga education funds ng anak nyo, huwag nyo naman pong gamitin yun, pang luxury. And for everyone, retirement. You know, you should really start setting aside for your retirement as soon as possible. Sabi ko nga, ang latest na start niyan dapat is when you start earning eh. Yung talagang mm-hmm. nag-graduate ka na, nagtrabaho ka na. Kasi kung tutuusin mo, halos pareho lang yung number of years of active working mo doon sa number of years mo, if you're going to use the 60 as the retirement age, because, you know, yung lifespan natin, tumataas na rin. Eh. So, imagine 30, 30. Mahirap yun. So, ano, 30 years na career, when mm-hmm. you retire at 60, you have yeah. probably another 30 years. To live. Of, yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sabi nung isa sa shopping daw, kontento na siya sa Watson. Sabi ni Ophelin. <laughs> Tapos sabi ni Cheryl ulit, what's been happening to her is the opposite. The pandemic created uh, the need to simplify. So mabuti yun. Yun nga eh, I mentioned this yes, last episode yata, that during the pandemic, hindi ako nag-shopping ng kahit anong clothing material, uh, item. Parang natyagaan ko. I mean, yun, wala. Wala talaga. And then I realized, Yan tuloy, I had an excuse na hindi ako nag-calling of the closet nung Good Friday nung Holy Week. Ay, sabi ko, lalo naman akong dinagdag. <laughs> same, same, same. Yeah, we have that tradition po kasi na pag Holy Week, we do a closet clean up, parang spring cleaning. Tapos, inaano na namin, yung iba, papamigay. Si Anton, magaling nakakabenta pa siya eh, no? Hmm. But question, no, for uh, for those who might be curious. Let's say I have 10 times naman of the money of the item that I want to buy. How will I know if what I'm buying, na luxury item, will make me happy longer than the first week? What will make you happy? Um, siguro, para sa akin, ang guide dyan is your core values again. Diba we always say that we have to be always guided by our core values when it comes to spending. So, um, kung yan, eh, may kinalaman naman sa mga talagang pinanghahawakan mo na mahalaga sa buhay mo, it will last you a lifetime. Like for example, education. No? Ako, in our family, we do value education. Tara, pinag-ipuna namin, yung pagpapaaral sa inyo. May pa-bonus ba kayo? Paaral-aral pa kayo abroad, di ba? Um, so, so, yun siguro. So, it's a luxury na parang hindi ka masyadong pang- manghihinayang kasi it is fulfilling a core value. Eh, yun naman talaga ang role ng pera para sa atin. Mm-hmm. Eh. Uy, gusto siya? ko na. Oh, bag- ituloy natin. Meron ka ba sasabihin? Pero gusto ko na siyang tawagin. Excited mm-hmm. na ako. Okay. Okay. Kasi I wanted to ask one more question. Like, is it 
is it right ba for you to tell your family or friends not to buy something na luxury item? What do you Kind-free mean? How? Meaning, huwag mo nabili niyan. Pandemic eh. Or huwag mo nabili niyan. Kasi may isang video na nag-trending rin from Ivana Alawi na when she pranked <laughs> her family in buying a, a Ferrari or like a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. The, the mom and the sister were like, ha? Huh? Ano binili yan? Pandemia ngayon, nalala. Pero assuming I... that she has enough money, what's your what's your opinion on that? Do you tell family, friends, huwag mo nabili niya? Ako, kung close naman kayo sa family nyo, eh di ba tayo nga eh, nagsasabihan din tayo, solicited or unsolicited opinion, we do give. And then, ultimately, it's the choice of the person. Basta, hindi siya nakakaabala sa iba, no? Yung sinabi mo, if he already has 10 times, I mean, he can afford 10 of that. Pwede. Kaya lang, um, hindi rin lang din yun eh. Para nakakahiya rin. You have to be sensitive dun sa mga nasa paligid mo. Parang kapal mo naman, pa ano-ano ka pa. Pag, pag ganyan-ganyan ka pa, eh, yung iba nawala na ng trabaho. Pag ganyan. So, pampahapi tayo ngayon. I'd like to call in our very special guest. You know, Martin, um, Anak siya ng friend ko. Uh, we were batchmates in college. That's why we, when I introduced her, complete with ano eh, middle name. So let's welcome Kiara Cuenca Dario. Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Oh, nice background. <laughs> is it your, is it your uh, study table or your bed? Yes. It my bed is on top of my study table. Hello, welcome, welcome. Kiara, um, please tell us about yourself for our viewers who are seeing your beautiful face for the first time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kiara. I am a theater actor. And I am also a singer who is coming out with her first debut single <laughs> later tonight, actually, at 12 midnight with my new girl group called Daydream. And I'm okay. super excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> C- can you say that again? Para dun sa mga nakamiss, ano? So you are a singer and you're coming up with your debut single tonight. Yes. Go! At 12 midnight. Tonight at 12 midnight, my new girl group called Daydream is coming out with our debut single. And we're, nice. I'm so excited for it tonight. Are you guys launching it also at Kumu? Um, maybe on another day. Not today, but we're going to talk about, um, like, we're going to have, like, the four of us. Because we're a four, group of four girls. And we're going to probably have, like, a live session a few days after letting everybody hear the song on uh, Kumu. I'm yeah, curious. I, hmm. I regularly yeah, stream Rin. We all regularly stream Rin on Kumu, the four of us. So What yeah. are their names? The two other, the three other girls. Um, it's me, Kiara Dario, um, Jom Logdat, who is also a theater actor, Denise Silva, who is a radio DJ, and Awi de Guzman, who is a cosplayer. Oh, oh my gosh! The <laughs> backgrounds are so diverse. And they yeah. <laughs> who came up with the word with the name Daydream? Our manager. So our manager slash producer is also the CEO of our label, Rebel Records, which is under Warner Music Philippines. Mm. So he had the idea of bringing us together and starting a girl group. And then in a dream, he thought of the name Daydream, like literally <laughs> in a dream. <laughs> oh, can, can you tell us how you got into this, Kiara? So how old are you? You're very young. You're only I don't know, 23. 23. Okay. Yes. Tell yeah. us about your journey. Um. So my friend Jom and I, who are in the group, we, we always wanted to do a girl group, but we never had like the opportunity. Um. And then a few months ago, Sir Nino, who is our manager, is also a um, theater actor. So we're like acquaintances in the same sphere. And then he was looking for girls to um, join this group. 
And he knew me from theater, so he asked one of my friends how I am. Like he he was like um, asking around if I'm a good fit, and I, he asked me if I would audition. So I sent in an audition video, and then I got in, and that's how I asked. I said, "If you need another girl, I have a friend, Jom, who's really good." And so they also got Jom for the group. So the two of us who wanted to start a girl group before, way before, pa. All ended up in a girl group. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, is it, there are three hats that you're wearing, but of course they're all related. No, you're a singer, actor, and uh, dancer. Dancer. Okay. Yes. Sino yung pinaka matimbang? Which one is the pinaka love mo? If you were baba, no, let's just make believe. You only have to choose one love. So Kiara, what is it? That's so hard, but. <laughs> probably singing. That probably singing because that's the first one I got into talaga. Oh really? How old were you when you started singing? Um <laughs> I would sing Britney Spears like every day when I was 3 years old. And my parents <laughs> couldn't get me to stop. <laughs> and then uh the dancing part naman, when did that start? Um ever since I was a kid, but I started taking professional, uh, not professional. I started taking lessons when I mm-hmm. was in grade five, so around like 10, 11 years old. And then you became part of your dance team? Yes. As well. Oh. Yeah, in high school. Yeah. So, parang ano lang to, just a little bit of a background. Oh, okay, wait. The, the acting part naman, when did that start? How old were you? <laughs> so, I started taking workshops in Repertory Philippines at five years old. That was in 2003. Oh, and then... I, it became yes. my profession. I, like I became a professional theater actor when I was fourteen. I was still in high school at the time with Repertory mm-hmm. Philippines. Mm-hmm. Wow! So to that, Martin, siempre you know this, ano, to our viewers, the parents of uh, Kiara, because si Janine, the mom, was my batchmate. Nga. the dad is Teddy, and they are uh, responsible for the wild success of wild flower prior to pandemic so yes. sino sa inyo sa wild flower nung araw Jeremy you raise your hand diba I, I, every I really friday oh, oh. Yeah, every friday they would have an 80s or a disco themed wild flower dance party in the middle of a a tita <laughs> cafe restaurant in the middle of a bakery. Galing, ano? All the unexpected combinations. Disco ball, DJ, and the people would... It became so popular na it would spill over to the streets. And yeah. residents of Rockwell would complain for, for the noise. Si Mikey ba kanina sabi mo nandiyan? Narinig mo ba yung ingay, Mikey? Nakakatuwa. Because, you know... Why I really liked the wildflower before, because it really brought together. Na mo sa kalma nakakita yung anak at saka yung mga magulang. Yes, exactly. Together, saya saya, de ba? Yeah, exactly. And the parents can watch their kids. Exactly. Tapos yung kids naman okay lang, kasi libre yung drinks. Tama ba? Libre, libre yung drinks. Medyo tipsy ng ang dad. Oh, sige, one round, everyone. Yes. Okay, ayoko maubusan tayo ng oras. So I'd like to ask Kiara to render us one song muna. Anong kanta to, Kiara? So this song is a staple of Wildflower Friday. <laughs> um, it's from Earth, Wind, and Fire. It's called Mayama! September. Okay, so please <laughs> smile. The viewers, feel free to stand up and dance as Kiara yes. gives us her first song. Let's do it. Please dance along and sing along with me if you know this. Hey! Do you remember the 21st night?
Thank you for the hollow hollox, guys, and the wows. Thank you, Cheryl Manansala. Yes. Okay, okay. So I was asking, were there live performances to Wildflower? Not that I remember. I don't think so. So do you share the same too? Sorry, okay. I think you're on the feedback. Oh, oh, may feedback. Ah, really? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. 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 Baria, Baria. Alam ko dati yung lyrics nun. Sana you remember. Kami naman, kami naman in college, kasi we were studying yung mga caste system sa India. Paria, sabi namin. Paria, outcast ng mga Indians. Alam mo. Oh no. Pero yung pagka-history, history vibe siya. Let's ask... Yeah, I want to ask Kiara. No, I'm so curious from a singer's point of view, right? Because there are many parents that are saying, "Don't you come out, don't you, what? Because there's no money there." So, what, what, what are your FQ tips or like um, mm. FQ perspective in pursuing a career in music? Okay, so everybody that I know who is in the entertainment industry doesn't just do one thing. So, mm -hmm. if you want to be a theater <laughs> actor. It's 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 not like you're just going to do theater since it's not really um parang it's not a stable source of income right you're not sure uh -oh. if you're going to get the job you're yes. not sure when the sh like when the shows are going to be the schedule's very like fluid very flexible so a lot of theater actors and singers that I know do also do other things like a lot of them Ha, sometimes are like freelance makeup artists or freelance like graphic designers. Others also go into like TV acting as well because that that has a lot more money than like live performances, right? So uh -oh. like commercial acting or voiceover work pays a lot more per project than um, mm -hmm. theater. So theater is like your passion. That's that's what you do for. To like soothe your soul, and then you also have to have other sources of income that you can rely on, even if you don't get, for example, you don't get casted mm. in the show. Yeah. Grabe, yeah. so, Kiara, twenty-three years old. You already have <laughs> what you got to say. Where did you learn these things? <laughs> I've been doing theater because since I was in high school, so I was hey. like, I'm. I really observe people. Like oh how because I really wanted to pursue it as a career, uh -oh. but then you also have to wonder like how how will it work out realistically. So that's yeah, why I also took skills. yeah that's that's why I also took a course in psychology so that parang meron akong backup kung hin if I can't do theater which is good now because nung pandemic na nawala yung lahat ng theater shows de ba. Oh, yeah. so like I use I use my degree now in psychology to do like freelance marketing work, which mm -mm. you know helps me right like, now. Yeah, even with psychology, you, know, you can really use that in in when you internalize a character. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Diba? Ganda, ganda nun. Now, we're, diba, this episode is about luxury. Yes. From your experience, Kiara. Yes. Um, do you uh, buy any luxuries, or if ever you do? Uh, could you share with us which ones? Talaga gusto mo alam mo? I value saying or I deserve this. This is what I like. I definitely invest in these things. Um, the first luxury purchase I had was a wallet because I I'm really like practical. So I felt that if I bought something that I'm really gonna use every day and mm -hmm. it's going to last me a long time, then it should be something as practical as like a wallet. If I'm going to make a big 
purchase. What was the brand of that wallet, if you don't mind? <laughs> it was a Kate. It was a Kate Spade. So hindi naman super luxury. Uh-huh. It was like, like um, major affordable student <laughs> for luxury for students. For students, definitely. Oh. Yeah. Super Natawa cheap. Ako, Meron lang ako, ano, natawa lang ako dito sa isang comment, sabi niya, boy, mga social pala dito. <laughs> Ila, ang topic luxury eh. Ikaw naman, no, si Eddie Pancho Dayanan. Talaga naman. Tapos <laughs> may sumagot sa kanya, sabi niya, hindi naman, eh, dito sabi niya, okay lang tayo dito. Alam niyo, okay lang naman eh. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng social? Di ba? Para bang high society. And there really should be um, an acceptance. Kasi, di ba, kung minsan, Ayaw natin na uh, dinidiscriminate, kunyari, yung mga, those who are blessed in life. Then, syempre, in the same way, don't also discriminate those who have, uh, basta hindi naman nagpa-flaunt, di ba? And the topic yeah. right now is really luxury. And, talking about that, gusto kong ipakita lang sa ating mga audience yung ating inconspicuous consumption. This is a nice way of really indulging yourself in luxury. I wrote an article in the past. The title was, What are the ultra-rich spending on right now? So it so happens pala na ito. They spend more, they spend less on attention, grabbing luxury items, and more on health, wellness, education, and retirement. So these are the lasting luxuries talaga that <clears throat> we should be, ano, para kung bawa may pasobra ka, no? ano yung mga luxury? that will have uh, a more lasting effect. Hindi obvious, hindi napakalaking tatak dito. Diba? Ako, hindi ko nga feel yung masyadong malaking tatak. What's that brand, Marty, that I'd always say, I don't like that, even if it's original. <laughs> Na, ano ko? Parang it's creaming masyado. So, that Parang one, Ralph Lauren, the, the big horse or the big, you know. Oo, hindi ko type yun. Mas gusto ko yung maliliit lang. Kaya, in conspicuous consumption, isama nyo yan dun sa inyong lexicon ngayon. Sabi nung isa, si Carl D. Ang hirap naman i-pronounce niya, Rose, in, in conspicuous consumption. So I said, Tagalogin natin, di, ano, ano sabi ko, di kapansin-pansin na luho. O, oh, di ba? Okay ba yun? <laughs> And oh, because cool. we have the luxury of another song. Kiara, ano ba yung ating next song? So, Okay. Teka, ayusin, ayusin natin ah, yung sa audio, parang nag-choppy siya. Sasayangan ako eh, para hindi mabuo, para buo sana. Yeah, check. yeah can we check the mic? There now. Check, check. How, uh, it's choppy to me. How about you, Martin? How does it come off to you? Medyo. But let's try. Let's try to play the music. Yeah, let's try the music first. Okay, what lang. But um, for that, I super love because the um, throwback is, from... Is it the internet, Kaya? Chaba. It's choppy. Yeah. I, just, I heard throwback, so throwback song. Ayan. Ay, naglalaga, no? Wi-Fi is a luxury. <laughs> <laughs> from luxury to need. Actually, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ako, sabi ko, hindi ako kilay is life eh. Internet is life. Ayan. Ako, nag, naglag yata. Nawala. Okay. Let's talk more about that. Uh, you just come up, Kiara, once you're okay, ha? Huh? But uh, let's continue the conversation on inconspicuous consumption, no? And I, I also noticed this among the millennials. Ay, teka, hi ko lang si Nancy Jane. Sabi niya, so love this family. Parang nakakahawa yung good vibes nyo. FQ Coach and this talk show helps me, uh, helps brighten my day full of happy vibes. Kasi this mom and son podcast. Eh, ay, podcast tuloy. Show. Thank you, thank you, Nancy Jane. I hope you can always join us here. Um, yan, wala si Kiara. I hope she can come back. So yeah. I was saying a while ago, Martin, ano, your, your generation, mga millennials, parang ano rin kayo, now may mga marami, niyo, marami rin yung nag conspicuous consumption. Arnold Dryrup, thank you for the gift. Tama ba ako? Tama ba ako sa observation? 
I think in the beginning, hindi masyadong ganun. Like, I feel like the, the, my generation was more into traveling, experience, those things. Tapos only lately, na dumadami na yung Gen Z in the workforce, na parang self-love has become more of a expression of investing in the self on education, mental health, wellness. Parang mm-hmm. that became a form of investment. Na I would spend for a coach or let's say I would spend for um, somebody to teach me about how to manage my finances, yeah. um, how to manage my career clarity. Yung mga yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like we've been working with clients that talk about those problems. Dati hindi. Dati it's about social media, it's about Instagram, best posts, best experiences. No, no, no. YOLO, but right now has a lot to do with wellness, mental health, those inconspicuous uh, consumption items that could be mentioned. Yeah, diba? and, and it's a good thing. Ano? You mentioned something about career clarity. Would you like to talk more on that? Bago yun, ah. yeah, so career clarity is something that a lot of us may know at the back of our heads, but mm-hmm. may not have articulated it that specifically. Um, Career clarity, because that is right. We just try to apply anywhere or do whatever to earn, and try to na figure out kung mm, how it fits with our path oh. or our values or what we're good at. But the more and more that people are becoming more introspective and yung nga, the wellness, investing in the wellness, investing in the self, we've been offering uh, this type of service that allows individuals to know what they're good at. Yeah. know what they enjoy doing so that we can use that as grounds or as basis to create what you call a career architecture to really promote clarity in your career path. And mm-hmm. syempre, FQ background, lalaman natin, okay, you already chose your desired career. You're already uh, living or operating with your strengths. Is this aligned with what you're earning versus the desired lifestyle that you have? Yes, yes, trabajo. I'm so inspired, motivated, but I can't pay for a lot of the things that I want, diba? So, ganun, we're trying to do that um, uh, reconciliation and ano, mix. Oh, uh, oh, parang, lalo na your generation, kasi, diba? You are known to be the job hopping generation. Super. So, one, one Christmas para... party two, alis ka na. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ka gaya ng panahon namin, panahon ni Mahoma. Um, in fact, lalo na yung panahon pa ng mga parents namin na some of them, really most of them, they would retire in the company where they started. Gusto yes. yun ng araw. So, maganda rin nagagawa nun kasi may gestation, yung retirement money mo. Tapos, mas, mas, mas sigurado yung ano mo, Yes. Yung pension mo, yung mga ganun. Eh ngayon, syempre, bawat mga ilang, 1.6 years na, 1.3 na nga lang yata, 1.3 years yes, na lang ang average, average day. 1.3 years for a millennial note stay. So, so ano nga, people are already looking for, are looking for more clarity in themselves so that they could mm-hmm. invest in their own career. Um, That might not, kasi okay, hop, hop, hop. But people really just want to belong also and operate. Yeah. Successfully, because that really is a luxury, diba? To be able to uh, choose or have clarity, um, and be able to spend your time, a resource that's limited, so that you can fulfill what you're ought to do and be good at what you're doing. Oh, um, ano nangyayari don? Parang what what you are going to provide for them is like a career clarity blueprint. Ganon ba yon? Yes, it's like an architecture. Na bumili ka ng condo. Or bumili ka, may luto ka na bili, ganyan. Tapos, okay, ano yung magiging design natin? So that as you go along the years, because you have this space with you, that is your career, konti-konti, nag-aarot, nag-renovate, panagdag. Ano yung mga furniture kanina na may nagsabi na, luxury, <coughs> ano yung mga bibilihin natin, uh, what will we invest in, so that our space becomes something that's truly our own. That mm-hmm. when we invite guests, we are going to be proud to share that space with them because this is really us. Yeah. Uh, this is really me. 
And with the last two minutes, I'm not sure if Kiara will be able to come oh, back. Eh. But let's support Kiara. Uh, tonight, diba, sabi niya, at midnight, they will be launching their, their <clears throat> debut single. Yes. And uh, you can follow her on Kumu also. She's she's here. So if you want to see. Sayang, ano, because of internet, medyo kinapos tayo ng another song from her. Oh, yes. Kiara. Kiara Miren. <laughs> Let's see if she'll be able to come back just super yeah. right in time. But in the last yeah, one, Kiara, if you're okay na, please come back kahit mag-bye-bye and uh, chorus na lang tayo until we end. But again, ano, we talk about how, when is the right time to enjoy luxury. It is really when you are able to observe the third basic law of money, which is to make your gold work for you, make an army of golden slaves before you buy luxury. It's very important that we have that safety net. And when we do that, we delay our gratification. Mas masarap yung pag-enjoy natin nung ating luxury. To know and more, of course. Way. To know more, you can just read up on the FQ Mom books. They're all available sa ABS-CBN at saka sa fqmom.com. And let's do the dance quickly for 1K views. Thank you so yeah, much yeah. for joining. Money yeah. lessons with FT Mom and Sons. Yeah, to know more about that, what Marty was talking about, just go to Brandon. PH. Yes. Okay, bye!